and the next uh, important reason is inadequate research and publications so the research that we are doing are not considered serious in other countries because people doubt our data collection whether we are putting real numbers or fake numbers is what people are really concerned about so i request all of you to actually collect the data seriously and not only collection of data the concept the methodology and the think uh, big uh, in the research multicentric all these things are not there because we do some comparison in brachial plexus block between two medicines even now and that is the research uh, we are doing i am not telling in all the centers but most of the centers okay we have to come out of this mindset and do bigger i'll tell you about how to actually come out of all these things in the later part of video and uh, global exposure is not there we never go for observations we don't go to other countries for conferences we don't go for international things so that is the, the uh, place where you have to invest your money and you have to actually put your money and then uh, go to international conferences and you have to go for observations in other countries you have to invest some money to in yourself that is the most important thing okay the next important uh, thing that we lack is log books we write but when do we write in the last 2 3 months so rather than that we should have a systematically recorded emr system you should not write the log book when at, the, at a click in the end of your residency your whole paper dheeraj masapu whole list of cases he has done should come out of the emr that will have more value is what i feel than you entering some uh names in your log book writing should not be there so we don't have emr system we don't have uh, structured you know log books we don't have uh, like all these things so that is another very important thing that we are lacking compared to western countries which easily all these things can be improved actually and next uh, uh, i don't call this as a next important thing is the language barrier and regulatory barrier see now uh, what is it? happening is some people talk english very well and then when these guys go to other countries mainly people uh, studied in bigger cities when they go to other countries they absolutely don't have any issue they talk on par with all the western people but people are studying in type 2 type 3 places they are having a very serious language issues when they are going to other countries that is another area that we need to really improve up. you would study english medium but the thing is how you communicate largely matters on how many times you have spoken in english in your place during at least from mbbs time you have to start talking in english